People, places and experiences can all inspire different forms of love. And while it can bring some people together, it can break the hearts of others. The weirdness of love is one of the themes explored in a brand new family comedy film set in Cape Town. So let's see what's happening down at Bice Cafe. Cape Townians may have become a little blasé about seeing film crews at work in the city streets, but this time things were a little different because the cast, the crew and the story were absolutely at home on location in Weinberg. The South African film industry has grown in leaps and bounds and audiences are yearning for local stories. Mebu Bauer and Rizia Rawat have collaborated on bringing a passion project to the big screen and invited me along to meet one of its stars. Mebu, Rizia, hello and welcome to Mela. Thank, Thank you so you. much, good to be here. It's always so inspiring to meet people who follow their passion and make it a reality. And we are standing in the actual cafe that features in Vice Cafe. That's right, but, but it's not a cafe, it's a cafe. <laughs> cafe. We did a bit of research on that, so a cafe is a coffee shop and a cafe is where we are. It's a South African story, but really it has a universal theme. How do you believe the film will travel? Firstly, the corner shop travels internationally. I mean, you find a corner shop anywhere in the world. And then we've got a love story which travels internationally. It speaks about community, it speaks about family values, it speaks about love and romance. And these are all universally appealing themes. You can be anywhere in the world and you'll be able to relate to those. As a first time female producer, I know that you felt it was very important to create opportunities for other women as well. That was the whole idea. We had lots of female crew on set and we had quite a few students that we empowered. Mehbub, as a seasoned professional, what is it about acting that you absolutely love so much? I just love films and I always said to my mom, I'm going to be an actor. And I knew nothing else. I knew I was going to do that and I wanted to be in the entertainment industry and I just love everything about it. We all love our Bollywood sequence numbers. How did you incorporate that into the film? It started out as being one song initially and then we ended up with a soundtrack of five songs. We had a choreographer, Anish Falodi, who's a wonderful, wonderful gentleman. He suffers from multiple sclerosis. He choreographed all the dance sequences in the film. We can in fact chat to him, shall we? It must have been such a thrill for you to work with original music. Yes, absolutely. It was quite challenging because we are stage performers. We are not used to performing on a street or on tar. We also had some rain along the way, so we had to stop shooting and, and start reshooting and doing something that really sort of brought to life the 70s and 80s and the 90s of what Bollywood was like. It was quite a challenge, but equally rewarding too. All right, here we go. And scene 84 and action. It's just about being stern to what you believe in. Sometimes you have to make decisions that are difficult in life and get together and fight. It just reminds us that activists and the struggle was not exclusively a black people's struggle. It was a united South African struggle. With a romantic subplot that pays homage to Bollywood films, the movie has it all, from comedy to drama. It's one of those feel-good films that everyone has to see. Vice Cafe tells a story based on real-world issues with characters that may remind you of family, friends, colleagues and neighbours. This makes it all the more engaging and truly South African.